Hey guys, welcome to another Master That Riff Lesson. Today I'm going to look at some uh, extreme from Three Sides. Uh, Three Sides to Every Story is 30 years old this year. It was released in 1992. So I thought it'd be cool to look at some uh, riffs and solos from that album. And I'm going to kick off with the opening track, Warheads, which is actually one of my favourite uh, extreme riffs. So, it's extreme, so I'm a half step down tuning wise. I've got E flat here. A flat. D flat. G flat, B flat, and then E flat at the top there. Now this riff is uh, it's pretty based, much based around kind of E, and we're going to start off this very free. Obviously we've got this big long intro, the you know the recruit speech and the air raid sirens and everything. So we've got a free time kind of play through of the riff really slowly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a hammer on four to five in the D string. Then I'm going to play open G string after it. Then I'm going to do hammer on four to five in an A string. Open D string after that. Then A string. And then I'm going to play third fret that E string. Lots of vibrato. And then I play an E power chord. So I'm just playing that second fret of the A string, open E. And then I play this really cool, uh, it's like an E minor 11 chord. Slow strum up that. And what I'm doing is I'm batting the A, D and the G strings there at the 2nd fret and then I'm playing 3rd fret the B string with the 3rd finger and then 3rd fret the high E string with the 4th finger and I'm doing all 6 strings, nice slow strum so it kind of rings out Then what we're going to do is I'm going to play hammer on 2 to 3 in the E string open D string hammer 4 to 5 in the E string open D string Open E string, then third fret of that E string again. And this time I've got a pinch harmonic. Same in for like three octaves above uh, for G. So it's that kind of note there. Same again, E power chord, then an E minor 11 chord. A little bit of wobble, a little bit of whammy bar. Yeah. And that's kind of your intro kind of chords. And then we get stuck into the main riff. So this is pretty fast, it's about 220 BPM. And I was watching Nuno play this. Um, he keeps a strict alternate picking thing going out through this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the third fret of that E string with the middle finger, palm muted twice, down up. Then I'm gonna play second fret of that D string with the first finger with the down stroke. Then I do that again, but because of the alternate picking, and it's just done three notes. I'm going to start with an upstroke now. So it switches. So you've done down, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah? Then I'm going to go back to uh, doing the down, up, down. Then up, down, up. Yeah? Then down, up, down. So slowly, that's kind of just going over the first two bars, but slowly it sounds like this. Yeah? Down stroke there. I, when I'm playing it, if I'm not thinking about it, my hands will just kind of take care of themselves. But this is how, you, if you want to kind of take it slowly, this is the way to kind of look at it. So we've just ended with a down, up, down. Then I'm going to play second fret of that E string with an upstroke. Let it sustain. So that's going from bars two to three. Then I do an upstroke on that again. And then do a downstroke in the D string second fret again. So it's like... It's like... Up, up, down. Then I've got my up, down... Uh, up from the E string to the D string. Then I've got a down stroke to first fret of that E string there. Yeah, and then of course I've done that up and down, and then up down up, and then down. Okay, and then the lead into the kind of running. But if I go through that slowly, so what you have going from the third fret is this. And then I've got this open D string to lead into the... Okay, so that's pretty much just like an intro. I've got my hammer four to five in the D string. Then that with downstroke. Open G string with upstroke. Hammer four to five in A string, downstroke. Open D string, upstroke. And I tend to play this upstroke in the 
A string and then downstroke on that third fret the E string there and give it a little bit of, you know, pinch harmonic, dig in a little bit. Power chord, E power chord, and this time instead of playing this E minor 11, upstroke open kind of top strings, B and E strings. You know, go. Let it all ring together. Then we'll have a little hammer 2 to 3 on the E string, open D string. So I do down, up again with that. 4 5 hammer, open D string. Then I've got my open E, and then third fret again. I do an upstroke here to get that down on the third fret there, because I want to dig in and give another kind of little semi pinch harmonic. Same again, E power chord with the top two strings ringing out. Okay, so that is pretty much our eight bars of the riff. We repeat that again and have a, a different ending after we've done our. To lead into the verse, what I'm doing there is I basically do 0 3 in that E string, and then I'm going to play an A power chord. So I'm batting at the second fret of the D and G strings, open A string, and that just lasts for one beat. Because uh, I've just done an upstroke on this, I tend to do that up, down, up. Yeah? Uh, so you can play around with that, see how that feels. You may want to do, you know, all downs to get that kind of kind of almost full stop feel when you hit that A power chord, but you can play around with it. So very slowly, uh, those eight bars sound like this. Okay, so Watch out for that when I did that there. And make sure you get that open E string. Because the challenge with this riff is when you start up in that tempo, you've got no time to think about where you're putting your pick strokes. You have to have that kind of natural feel for it. Obviously, Nuno, I mean, he has one of the best right hands uh, going in the guitar world. He's such a great uh, alternate picker and great picker. And he has such groove in his playing. And because of the way he's alternate picking this, it means this note here and it's popping out varies between upstrokes and downstrokes, which gives you that organic kind of feel to it. So there you go, guys. That's the intro riff to Warheads. If you want access to the Helix patch or what, how I came up with the tone or the gear research, or what gear Nuno was using on three sides, come over to the Patreon group, uh, become a member, and you'll be able to get access to that Helix patch plus the info on uh, Nuno's gear. You can also get access to the Guitar Pro tab for this lesson, as well as the Sound Slice tab, which allows you to uh, play the tab with me playing the, the riff, and you can slow it down and loop it and work in areas if you want to work in that riff and slow it down to 70% and speed it up, you can do that with Sound Slice. Yeah? Uh, you can also uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter if you're on those platforms. And of course, if this is your first time here, if you like what you see, you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button and of course that notification bell. Uh, there's only a tiny fraction of people who have got the notification bell uh, uh, switched on, so you won't get uh, kind of notified when I upload a video, but hopefully if you do that, you will do, yeah? So thanks for watching guys, enjoy that, bask in the glory of the three sides being 30 years old, and I'll see you soon.